Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. The Dearborn Heights School District number seven is without a superintendent this morning. Earlier this week, the school board suspended Superintendent Jennifer Mast for five days without pay. This is in response to a champagne toast that she had last June for two retiring administrators. She says it did take place on school property. Mast admits that what she did was wrong and deserves some type of punishment, but that what she got was excessive. You know, we have progressive discipline in the school systems and everybody follows progressive discipline. And progressive discipline does not start with a five day unpaid suspension. We received a statement from the district saying in part, since this is a personnel matter subject to applicable privacy rights, no further comments will be made. Mass plans to return to her job when her suspension ends next week. Well, the search continues this morning for vandals who caused thousands of dollars worth of damage at an ice arena in Dearborn Heights. Police say around $10,000 worth of damage was done inside the Canfield Ice Arena. That's on Cocklick uh, Street near Ford Road. Investigators say the arena was ransacked sometime between May 7th and May 13th. Mirror, sinks, toilets, glass showcases all destroyed. If you have any information about this crime or who's behind it, you're asked to call Dearborn Heights Police. It's going to be a beautiful morning and this afternoon is going to feel comfortable too. check out our high temperatures for the day ahead. We're going to be up to about 77 in Detroit, Monroe, Troy, about 76 degrees around Ann Arbor and a closer look at northern Wade County, Oakland and southern Macomb, 75 degrees in Mount Clemens this afternoon, 75 in Pontiac, Auburn Hills, 77 in Farmington, Livonia. So a warm day today and breezy dry during the day, but we have a slight chance of showers any point after 5 p.m. Thunderstorms then possible 8 p.m. to 2 o'clock in the morning. Some of the storms may be strong with potentially damaging wind gusts. Could be heavy rain and lightning. And that storm threat again between about 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. So late in the day today. But during the day and this morning, it's dry and it's going to be a very comfortable day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.